Hi everybody, this is Glenn Giordano, and I'm here for the uh, third part, I think, of my Better Time Now series. Uh, in the last one, uh, 55 beats a minute, or I think it was 53 actually, we did a series of subdivisions. With the metronome clicking all four beats at 55 or 53 beats a minute, which is more than a second a beat. That's a lot of time. Now this is this next thing is something that I don't care who you are. Maybe with the exception of Steve Gadd, maybe Vinny, Caliuta that is, you're never gonna be great, great at this. Where out of the out of the hat, you're just gonna play it perfectly all the time. I'm gonna take that at 55 beats a minute. I think it's at 56 actually, and I'm gonna put that metronome on two and four. So it's not gonna play one and three. Why am I doing that? Uh, I'm doing that mainly because I want to give one and three. I want one to be on me. And really, you know, there's a, kind of an old adage that all music, it's either two beats or three beats. You know, if you're in 4-4, four, four, really, that's two twice. And if you're in six, that's three twice. So really, all form, all music is some form of two and three. Even if you're in seven, usually that's three and four, you know, very rarely is it, is it like six and one or something like that. But, so, I want to give one and three. Two and four are going to be like a check for me to see where I am. So I'm going to start this out and I'm going to take a longer time. In the last video, I spent pretty much four bars on each. And I'll admit that I do that one a lot while I'm watching Netflix, the one I did in the last video. I do this one less. This is very hard. This takes a lot of focus, but every time you do it, and during the course of time while I do it, even if I'm doing it for 15-20 minutes again, you will see benefits to your time right now. If I have the day free before a gig, uh, I, will, I will probably do this before the, the, uh, the gig that night, especially if it's a major gig with one of the national acts I, I would work for, only because I know it's going to enhance my time. Again, this takes a lot of focus. I'm going to do this now for you. The same thing I did in the last one. We're going to do several subdivisions. We're going to start with quarter notes and quarter note triplets, all single strokes. Uh, we're going to switch to eighth notes, uh, which is going to be the single paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, keeping with a single paradiddle, changing that to triplets, uh, then sixteenth notes, still the single paradiddle, and then finally the paradiddle diddle. Okay, and we're going to go all the way through and then back to one. I'm going to be tapping what would be my hi hat foot which is my right foot, because I'm left-handed and that's where I play my hi-hat, uh, you should tap your hi-hat foot as well, whichever you are, lefty or right, righty. Why? Because you really want to begin to feel those subdivisions within you. Within you. And here's something. It's hard to do it at 55. Now, I've done this at 70 and 100 many, many, many times. I don't do it at 55 that often. Um, you want to work backward on this. You know, set your metronome for 150, 120 with the metronome giving you two and four. When that gets good, set it for one, 115. When that gets good, set it for 100, and so on and so forth. This is one of those you want to work backwards because the more time that there is between beats, the harder it is. You need to have that center of time strong in you. So I'm going to go ahead and start this, and I'm not going to uh, limit myself to four bars in each one. And there's some tricks to it. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk through on the way as I get them uh, as best I could. Remember, this metronome is only going to be beating every, like, two and point one two seconds or something. Okay? So here we go. We're going to start this now. So I've got my foot tap in. One, and I'm going to count this for a couple of bars. Start to feel that pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. This is a difficult thing. Two. Count the triplets one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, 
and I'm going to start quadrille triplets. One and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and I uh, got my right foot tapping. Two and, uh, and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one. Now I'm on eighth notes and doing the single paradiddle. Now I'm going to get ready for the jump to triplets. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, a two and a three and a four. That wasn't all that bad, right? And I've really only done that a couple times, you know, over the last few days. Now I recommend two. I'm also going to do the run through this left-handed, but I, I recommend two uh, gin with that. Speed is not something you want to worry about with this. Slow is better. All right? I could put those eighth notes in there, in there. But the quarter notes leaves more of those subdivisions up to me. You can see when I'm talking to you, I get a little off. Now 16 notes. Now I'm going to try what I just did, leading with the left. So here we go, same thing we just did. Leading with my left. And you know, and even though, I mean it wasn't perfect, just jamming around, but I was never too far away. And remember, when you're doing this kind of thing, you're doing this with a whole band. Now I'm going to do the same thing, I got my foot tapping. I'm going to start counting those triplets. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four. Next jump is triplets. Here we go. Two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. And then jam with it a little bit. You know, 
doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it to sort of like be there, right? Right, not bad. And I'm just messing around, talking to you, letting that click be my guy. All right. All right. I'm filming the um, ending of this past video that you just saw on a different day. It really, was a lighting issue. I don't possess the proper artificial lighting, so I use a lot of um, regular outside sunlight to help me do these, and the lighting wasn't right, and I wasn't feeling that great. So I just want to say, what you just saw, practicing those figures, with the metronome clicking away at 2 and 4, right, at, I, that might have been 55 or 53, I don't remember, maybe 56, at that kind of speed is going to make your time better, better. Uh, to say this uh, simply, uh, this is a mountain you can't climb. This is a mountain that you will never see the top of. You know, uh, I notice for myself that if I lay off time, like right now with the quarantine, I'm not gigging as much. I'm working on some licks and stuff, and when I spend a week and I don't really work out with my metronome that much and do that kind of exercise, I see a, a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a lapse, and i got to work back into it. Uh, I believe that after all these years that my time never gets that bad. I, I hope, I hope, but that's a hope. That may not be reality. Um, but... Do these exercises I'm showing you, and this is whether you are a drummer, a bass player, a guitar player, or whatever, these kind of exercises are going to help solidify your core, your central understanding of time, your, your ability to feel the subdivisions of time. And if you're a bass player, one note, just one note, and play different, you know, triple at 16 notes against that kind of thing. It's just going to help you. Um, but don't get down on yourself about it. You know, uh, you know how much on, on these videos I've said before, Gad is my hero. Uh, I don't think he would be perfect at it. Right? He's human, so there'd be adjustments he would have to make. I'm sure not as many as I would make, but he would make a few adjustments. Uh, and don't just do it one way. Just don't do it that two and four way. Don't just do it in the, in the previous one. We did all four, right, at 55 beats. Don't just do it that way. And I got some other ones coming up that I'm going to show you. I'm going to work on one a little later today, a little bit different, uh, which I think you're going to be excited. You do all of them, because if you work out one way, you're going to get good at it. And you don't want to get good at it like that. You don't want to get good at doing it one particular way, because you're, you're, it's like a, like a habit. It's like when you're lifting weights. And if you lift the same weight all the time, the same way, the same number of reps, uh, you got to change up your workout a little bit, break different muscles. Your body gets efficient, you, you stop burning as many calories, and that's a scientific proven thing, right? If you do it one way, your brain gets good at it. You want to keep forming new neural maps, new neural pathways of feeling those subdivisions, different tempos. Have the metronome you're going to see on, the, on one of the future ones, not this week, maybe next week, I'm going to do with the metronome just beating on four. Just four. So all that's me. And that's and I probably won't do that at 55 beats a minute. That may be too much even for me. I may do it, uh, I do it at 80 or 83. I think that's about as slow as I've gone with the metronome just beating on four. Maybe we'll try to push that to 70. Anyway, I hope you get something out of that, uh, what you just saw. I hope you work on it. Put your, in your comments, put in, hey man, I tried this, it was great, or I tried this and it wasn't that good at all. Um, anyway, with everything that's going on, hold tight, man, hold tight. Remember, in the end, we're all the same. We're all the same. Anyway, get well.